What are some other cool robots uh, in the early days that stand out to you? I mean, there's a million we can go through, but like what, <laughs> uh, may, maybe what What was like a challenging one, like a really challenging one in, in the early days? I mean, I remember the breakfast robot, which was my second project, was a challenging one. So it's eating cereal? Yeah, it's a robot that like pours milk and cereal and feeds me at, with a spoon. I was mostly challenging because it was so like, everything had to be in the right location. And there were so many takes before I got everything right. Mm -hmm. And by right, I mean, it makes an absolute mess. Um, yeah, that one was challenging. How but many a, takes was that one? I don't know, probably 12, 10, something. It's just a mess everywhere. It's a mess. And also I use like Cheerios for the cereals. And my it's shot in my old bedroom in San Francisco. And the floors were sticky for weeks afterwards. Do you think goes into your autobiography? Yeah. Good. It's nice. <laughs> Maybe we can two. just type out this podcast and <laughs> I'll release it as a, and my Chad manager GPT. would be stoked. We'll fix it in post. Um, yeah, this, the, the feed, because you have like a couple of feeding ones, right? The soup. Isn't there a soup one? Yeah, there's a soup robot. Uh, there's a beer pouring robot. Yeah. I mean, that's there's, that's awesome. That's a difficult robotics problem. In the shitty and the in the perfect version of having an arm that interacts intimately with a human being, mm -hmm. and one of the most intimate things you can do with a human being, that's PG, is to yes. feed it. <laughs> I was like, don't go there. <laughs> where where is he going with this? Uh, <laughs> oh my no. god, he's a YouTube comic come live. <laughs> yeah, like, damn it. <laughs> so, like, to me, there's a like feeding is tricky, or even like getting a beer, even pouring a beer is. It's tough mm -hmm. into a glass. Yeah. It's trickier than anyone who hasn't tried it thinks. And even making it, I think what I realized is that like making things really shitty or like failing in a spectacular way is also its own sort of skill. Because like the shittiest robot is the one that doesn't turn on. Right. But like that isn't much to watch. So it was always like wanting for it to fail in these kind of spectacular ways. Um, no, there's a lot of stuff to be said about engineering in it.